Welcome to the last video of my YouTube series about creating CRUD applications with Spring Boot 2.2. In this last section, we will cover the missing CRUD operation, which is delete, and therefore create the endpoint for deleting one of our book entities. We'll start again by first writing the test as we're doing test-driven development. In this case, I've decided to not write a mock MVC test as we have done it in the previous sections. As for this case, it would be rather simple as the delete endpoint will just delegate to the book service and there's not much to test. So I've decided to write a full integration test to test this behavior. For this, I'm using the add Spring Boot test annotation, which will start the whole Spring Boot context and also the embedded H2 database. For this example, this is quite simple for a more realistic application where you connect to an external database or an external service. You could use something like test containers and bootstrap everything you need for your application, also prepare some sample data. In our case, as we initialize the H2 database with 10 books, we can start with a fresh Spring Boot context and test it. So here, first I'm setting up the test REST template, which we will use to make the HTTP calls. The first call will, which is get, will verify that underneath API books one, there is a entity, so the status code has to be okay. And after calling the delete HTTP method with the same ID here, again, book ID one, we will get a 404 when we try to query it again. So the test will first check that there is an entity with the ID one, then it will delete it and afterwards check that it is not there anymore. So we can try to run this test. It should fail as we did not implement the endpoint yet. Let's see. As you can see here, everything is started. So the embedded Tomcat and the H2 database is bootstrap, which will take some time. It's also on a random port so that we do not block anything in parallel. And as you can see here, we expected 404. We expected that the entity is not found, but we got 200. That's because we not yet implemented a delete endpoint, and so the, the test fails. So we can start with implementing the last endpoint. It's also really straightforward. We have this add delete mapping annotation. We want to pass a pass variable as we have done it before. Uh, in this case, we don't want to return anything. So the return type is response entity void. And the method is called delete book. We can copy this here again, paste it in here, and now delegate to the book service that we want to delete this book. So call the method delete book by ID, pass the ID, and that it. After this, we just want to return a response entity of OK with an empty body, which should be OK in this case. So create this method. And here we can use the book repository, which has per default already some delete methods in place. We can delete by ID, which is the primary key. We can delete a specific book by its, uh, its reference. We can delete all books, and then we can also delete just a fraction of our books by passing, for example, a list of books we want to delete. And there are also some delete and batch mode, which is more of a 
performance optimized if you're, if you're doing multiple deletes. For our example, the delete by ID is totally enough and we can just pass the ID here and the book repository will make sure that the book entity is deleted in background. So that's everything for the business logic. We can now switch back to our test and try to run it again and see what the result is. So everything's started. Let's see. And our test is green, meaning we are we could delete our book with the ID one. And after querying it for it again, we got an HTTP 404, which means there is no book with the entity one in our database anymore. You could also see here the log output of Hibernate during the test and can see here that after selecting the books, which was our first call, we should be triggering a delete statement, which will then delete the book in the database. And after querying it for it again, we can't find anything. And as we've implemented it in, I think it was the second course, we will throw this 404 and verified here. So everything is working. So we can also now manually verify that the new endpoint is working. I've just started the whole application. And when we switch to Postman and try to do, try to get the book with the ID one, we are getting a valid result. And if we now switch to delete with the same URL and call this, we are getting 200 and an empty body as expected. And if we now are going to query again for this book, we should get a 404 not found, which means we deleted the entity in the back end. So thanks for watching the whole series about CRUD application with Spring Boot 2.2 and Java 11, and see you in the next video course. Bye.